Hey guys, Jafar here. Their Outpost is a safe and rewarding monument that allows you to purchase new tools and items while interacting with players and utilities which you cannot find anywhere else. The Outpost can be found by opening the map and finding its label and many vending machines. Once you have identified the Outpost, you can either run directly to it or use the freight transit line without the worry of being roof camped. The outpost has a freight tunnel entrance directly outside of it, making it a fast and safe way to go back and forth between your base and the outpost. You can see more about the freight transit line in my previous video dedicated to it. Additionally, you can get inside using the outpost tunnel system with two ladders labelled A and B in ruined buildings. Once you have arrived, make sure to put away all weapons, otherwise you'll be targeted for 30 seconds, which can be seen with the red crosshair icon in the top right of your screen. If you shoot, your timer will increase to 1 minute, and if shot by a turret, will max out at 5 minutes. The time will reset if you go back into the outpost before the time is up. The red crosshair will also appear if you have recently shot players even outside the safe zone, so make sure to wait before going in. The outpost hosts 7 vending machines which each yield different items. Most tools, weapons and items will require scrap as the currency with some resources offering a swap trade. You can easily view what the vending machine contains by opening your map and clicking on the vending machine icons. Here you will see the cost and availability of each item, with the items on the left being the ones for sale, while the items on the right being the cost. The courtyard at the back contains the tools, weapons, clothing and security. The vending machine on the road leading to the courtyard off from the main road contains the electrical devices, a large furnace and oil refinery. The two vending machines along the main road from the entrance contains the resources and components. Finally, the machine next to the music stage and barbecue contains the water and comfort supplies. Apart from purchasing items, you can also use a range of utilities the outpost provides to progress your gameplay. Starting off, you can find three recyclers within the destroyed light blue building. Directly across from the recyclers, you can find the repair bench for your tools and weapons. You can locate the repair bench with a large sign out the front that says repairs. Across the road from the recyclers is the research table. This can also be found with a large sign on the wall. Down the road is a refinery for cooking your crude oil into low grade fuel. The refinery can be found down the back of the alleyway. Across from the refinery alley you can find two level 1 workbenches which is incredibly useful for when you're starting out and don't currently have the scrap or a base to build one. Between the recyclers and the refinery, you can find a single telephone. You can make a direct call to other phones or search the directory for other phones within monuments. You can expect the phone at the outpost to ring often since players will attempt to call to have fun or randomly talk. A functional music stand with three instruments and a barbecue to cook your food can also be found out the back of the outpost at the end of the train track. Here also resides a table and chairs for healing or conversation. Finally, a drone terminal can be found at the courtyard where the three vending machines are located. I have a full video dedicated to the drone market which I would recommend checking out to understand its functionality and additional tips. Here is an overview of all the utilities found within the outpost. While within the outpost, you are completely immune from damage dealt by other players. Even if there is a sniper out of range from the turrets, their bullets will not damage you. You can still die by fall damage, environmental effects, or the NPCs. The safe zone will also mark you as an enemy after sleeping there for around 10 minutes. However, if you do die, other players cannot loot your items, meaning you can return and take your stuff without worry. The outpost is surrounded by turrets and NPCs, which will target any players who have recently dealt damage or are banned from the outpost. It's impossible to deal damage to the turrets or NPCs within the outpost making it pointless to fight back if targeted. Even though players can't kill you, it doesn't stop them from attempting to steal. Remember when using any utility to remain inside of it which stops other players from opening it and taking your items. It is possible for players to push your body by standing on your head away from the machine, which kicks you out. So remain vigilant and don't go AFK while recycling. If you decide to fly or ride in with a horse, remember to always stay within the vehicle, otherwise players will attempt to steal it. If you fly with a minicopter without a second passenger, expect other players to hop into your vehicle to troll you since you cannot shoot them out. 
A tip to get them out is to squish them between the railing of the tower or fly them into the compound spikes to deal damage. Sometimes there is ores, barrels or animals within the vicinity of the outpost safe zone. You can't use your tools or weapons to harvest their materials due to the restrictions applied by the outpost. However, the rock is the only tool you can use within the outpost that has harvest statistics. So if you see stone ores, you can plant your rock and harvest it without the fear of people killing you and taking your resources. Finally, road signs reside inside and outside the monument, which you can harvest with your rock. When destroyed, they drop one road sign and one metal pipe. You can then take these to the recycler and get high quality metal and a good amount of scrap. A recommended suggestion from a commenter includes harvesting 4 metal signs and using 25 scrap to purchase metal fragments. You can then use these at the level 1 workbench to craft a nail gun and rounds for early game defense and taking out the tunnel dwellers. The outpost is a completely safe environment that allows you to interact with other players and utilities to progress your gameplay. The drone terminal is great for purchasing other items from around the map without the risk of traversing there, and the available vending machines contain essential items necessary for farming, fighting or refining. Make sure to turn your voice volume down as there will be many players within the outpost screaming, talking and singing. That's all for this video, thanks guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.